after a wonderful time of track distribution and uh, uh, we have an opportunity to have a short devotion. Of course, we are not on the streets where we did our work. We have come inside the mall. Uh, so today, for today's devotion, uh, we always look for a story or a current event uh, so that uh, we can connect that with the Bible to, so that we can continue to do what we are doing. That is to give out tracks to be uh, passionate for evangelism. So today I want to talk about a 78-year-old man. Uh, his name is Sharad Pawar. He's the talk of India today. November 2019, he's the talk of India. Uh, Times of India's uh, yesterday's headline said, Pawar play, Uday in, Padnab is out, Ajit retired hurt. Uh, I mean, this man has uh, uh, been singularly responsible for keeping uh, our Prime Minister and Home Minister uh, and putting them in the back foot. Just as just a single, just this man and what he did. So I'm going to use an acronym P A W V A R. Power is second last name to. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit about his life because he, we are not very familiar with him. And I'm going to, uh, from that acronym, draw lessons for us to uh, do evangelism more passionately. Uh, P, okay, P, uh, P reminds me of uh, pouring rain. Uh, when he was uh, campaigning for his party, that is Nationalist Congress Party, NCP, he's the head of a political party, NCP, like Modi's the head of uh, BJP and Amit Shah's head of BJP. He has a party, his name is NCP. And in pouring rain, Maharashtra just had an election, he's from Maharashtra. In pouring rain, he uh, he continued to address a rally and people have not forgotten that. So it's pouring, but he's speaking to a large crowd. He's not stopping because the rain is coming. He's not running for shelter. I mean, it's amazing uh, that a politician will continue to speak in the crowd when the rain is pouring, when it's pouring cats and dogs. That reminds me of the scripture Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 4. The lazy man will not flow because of the winter. Uh, the Bible says the lazy man will not plow because of the winter. Uh, he will beg and because he will not plow because of the winter, he will beg during the harvest and have nothing. Proverbs 24. And there's another scripture which says, uh, Ecclesiastes 11.4, Whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. Uh, the New Living Translation says, Farmers who wait for the perfect weather will never have any harvest. So many of us, uh, right in this group, uh, uh, people who uh, joined us for track distribution, uh, they didn't have perfect weather. For example, Pushpa has a small baby. Uh, my wife, Vivan, has uh, kids coming back to home at the same time and we are doing track distribution. So no time is a perfect weather for us to do evangelism. And for a politician, pouring rain is not the time for him to give a speech. But Pawar did it and we also do it. And uh, that is, I believe, that will inspire some people to uh, do evangelism, get involved in evangelism, even though it's not perfect weather, we still need to do it. P A, okay, age defining power. Power is 78, 79, 79 years old. He's an old man. He's okay. He became CM of Maharashtra at the age of 37. I read. He's been in politics for 52 years, 50 plus years. But you know, at the age of 79, he's still wanting to do what he loves to do. You know, be a political leader. Uh, the Bible talks about Zachariah. And at one point in time, Zachary said, I am an old man, my wife is an old lady. Uh, you know, can God really have any plan for us? You know, that was his, the tone of his question. I'm an old man. What does God want me to do? You know, age. Uh, so in this group, we have Ansel who is, uh, how old are you, Ansel? Seven. Seven years old. So age doesn't matter for evangelism. God pours out his spirit on men and women, young people and old people. So that empowered by the spirit, we all can do evangelism. P A W. Uh, his power has got a nickname. Sharad Power has got a nickname. He's a Willy Power. He's a shrewd man. Willy man. He's a man of wisdom. And the Bible says, uh, "He who wins souls is wise." The wisest thing that you can do is not to play politics. Though uh, the wisest thing in the world you can do is actually to win souls to tell people that there's a heaven and a hell and Jesus came to save them that's what we do by track distribution P A W A okay uh, he's an ailing power as well in 2004 because of, of, of a bad habit that power had he used to chew betel nut okay he had oral cancer and, uh, and the surgery after that he had, after that surgery they removed all his teeth 
uh, uh, and he was in great trouble you know his face the shape of his face changed but you know he, that didn't stop him from standing before big crowds and giving speeches about his political party and uh, the need for secularism and need for coalition government and all that the the kind of the the face and the dis disfigurement of the face because of the cancer didn't stop him and one of the greatest excuses that we all give uh, for evangelism is that i can't speak well i am i am not presentable i am not tall enough you know i am not talented enough all those excuses we need to throw out of the window and get involved in evangelism the same way power through all his excuses including the the excuse of having his face disfigured because of a cancer uh, he threw it out so that he can be a leader who can put the prime minister and the home minister on the back foot uh, in november 2019 so uh, ailing power and then p a w a r uh, a r talks about reproof taking power reproof taking power r uh, he is open for correction right uh, in fact in one when he spoke in pune he apologized for uh, choosing one particular politician for for a particular seat he said i'm sorry i made a mistake uh, he he doesn't shy away from asking sorry if he made a mistake he would say i made a mistake uh, that is one uh, good thing about him uh, the focus of this devotion is not charat pawar he's a man uh, who needs jesus as we all need jesus the focus of this devotion is that we all no matter what we do where we go what stage of our life we are in we need to always be uh, passionate about evangelism so i'm so glad that today we could uh, uh, you know team up together and uh, give so many tracks outside one of these one of hyderabad's most talked about malls so we we'll, uh, we can keep our eyes open as we pray i'm going to lead in prayer and uh, let's uh, let's commit uh, the people who have received the tracks into the lord's hands uh, dear lord we thank you for giving us this opportunity this great opportunity to give out tracks outside what is supposed to be hyderabad's largest mall uh, lord we thank you for the people who received it uh, we pray that uh, you will speak to them through that uh, track the printed word of god will speak to them we are so grateful to you for this privilege and we pray that till the till our death till your return uh, we will be faithful in the task of evangelism and we ask this with thanksgiving in jesus matchless name amen i'm just going to turn the video to so you can all see Wave, 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 wave.